back to my channel today we have an amazing math question here very simple but tactical the question says we should solve for x and y if x y they are what positive integers now the first thing we need to do is um we need to note that there are several ways we can express 77 okay if we decide to express it as product of its factors 77 can be expressed as one multiplied by 77 it can also be expressed as 77 multiplied by 1 it can be expressed as 7 times 11 it can also be expressed as 11 times 7 okay now if we keep this in mind we cannot make use of everything here because we are told something that x and y are positive integers and if x and y are positive integers then let us come back to this Sorry, this is x squared minus y squared, not plus, okay? All right. Now, remember that this is difference of two squares. And in algebra, when you have something like this, this can be expressed as x minus y into x plus y, okay? All right. Now, if we are told that x and y are positive integers, then simply x minus y must be greater than x plus y must be less than x plus y sorry okay x minus y must be less than x plus y so that means that if we are to express this in this form it simply means that the first number should be less than the second one so this is a go but this is not this is also a go but this is not okay this must be less than the second one since our x minus y must be less than x plus y. So that leaves us with just two options, 1 times 77 and 7 times 11. So that means that we have two cases here, okay? Now case 1. Case 1 is that x minus y multiplied by x plus y is equal to 1 multiplied by 77, all right? And case 2, case 2, we have x minus y multiplied by x plus y is equal to 7 multiplied by 11. So these are the two cases that we have that will be used to find the value of x and y. If this is the first time you have seen this wonderful channel, this amazing channel, and this is the first time you have seen this face, Mm. please hit the subscription button turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss us yes i wouldn't like to miss you as well give me a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video and please tune in anytime at your convenience there must be something new to watch yes trust me on that all right now let's continue if you look at what we have let's start from case one let's start from case one so according to case one we have that x minus y multiplied by x plus y is equal to 1 multiplied by 77, all right? Now, from here, this simply means that x minus y, okay, is equal to 1. Let's call this equation 1. And x plus y is equal to 77. Let's call this equation 2. Now, if we subtract equation 1 from, equation 2 from equation 1, let's subtract we have x minus x, we give us 0. Minus y minus plus y, we give us minus 2y. Okay? 1 minus 77, we give us minus 74. All right. Now, let's divide both sides of this equation by minus 2. So, we have minus 2y divided by minus 2 is equal to minus 74 divided by minus 2. Now, minus 2, we divide itself. And we, are, we have y is equal to this minus, you remove this minus. When 2 divides 7, we have 3, 3 remainder 1. Then 14 divided by 2, we give us 7. So we have y is equal to 37. All right. Now, um, let me write case 2 somewhere. For case 2, we have 7 times 11. Okay. So I can clean this up. Okay. Now, from here, remember that from equation 1, from equation 1, okay, we have that x minus y is equal to 1. Now, our y is equal to 37, so we can say x minus 37 is equal to 1. So, x minus 37 plus 37 is equal to 1 plus 37. 
Now we have x, this and this will give us 0, is equal to 38. So it means that when x is 38, y is 37, okay? That is the first value. We have 38 and we have 37. All right, now for case 2, let us go for case 2. For case 2, yeah, for case 2. So for case 2, we have that x minus y multiplied by x plus y is equal to 7 multiplied by 11. So this simply means that x minus y is equal to 7. Well, let's call this equation 3 and x plus y is equal to 11. Let's call this equation 4. Now, when we subtract, just like we did the other time, x minus x will give us 0. Minus y minus plus y is minus 2y. Okay? Then 7 minus 11 will give us minus 4. Now, let's divide both sides by minus 2. So we have minus 2y divided by minus 2 is equal to minus 4 divided by minus 2. Now, minus 2 we divide here, we are left to just y, and 2 we divide this to give us 2. So here we have y is equal to 2. All right, but according to equation 3, from 3, according to 3, we have that x minus y is equal to 7, right? So we have x minus y is equal to 7. So x minus our y is 2 is equal to 7. So x will be 7 minus 2 we cross to become plus 2. So we have x is equal to 9. Now it means that when x is 9, y is equal to 2. Now let us check if the answer we got is correct. Okay? Have you given us a thumbs up? If not, please do that. All right? Okay. Now, um, we are told that x squared minus y squared is 77. Now, here our x is 9. So, we have 9 squared minus, and our y is 2. 2 squared is equal to 77, okay? Now, 9 squared is 81. 2 squared is 4. Is this equal to 77? Yes, it's 1 minus 4. Is 77. So, this simply means that the answer we got is correct. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.